uh, I had the opportunity today to, uh, to spend the day with uh, the new DOT uh, chairman, uh, Mr. Kahn, along with Gus Tolson and also Ricky Green. We had a meeting in uh, Wilson this morning that lasted from about uh, 10.30 to about 12, and then I had an opportunity to go to lunch with them. And he cleared up a lot of things that's, that's going to be affecting uh, municipalities. Like one, they were talking about one time about the roads inside the city limits being turned over to the cities for their <coughs> maintenance. And uh, he said that's not going to happen right away. Uh, there's no plans for that whatsoever. And uh, because it would be an astronomical cost to this to governments to, in order for us to do that. He talked about the uh, tolling of 95, and tolling of 95 is going to happen. It's not going to happen right away, but eventually it will happen. In fact, it's, they are doing 540, I think, they're starting tomorrow in the morning from what he said today of putting toll booths on I-4 at 540. So, uh, you know, it is going to happen here. A lot of uh, right away has got to be acquired before they do it on 95, but eventually it will take place. Uh, it was a real good meeting, enlightened me a lot on a lot of things, and uh, it's, and this is the first time that I can remember that a, a DOT person has come down, especially a new appointee of the governor has come down and met with the mayors, and then I was fortunate enough to have the opportunity to go out to lunch with them and get some more talk in. So I uh, just want to make you aware of that. Do you know of any projected revenues or whatever for that from that? any at all well they they have not even got to that point yet but uh you know it, it it's it's gonna be i you know it might be five ten years down the road i don't know but it's gonna be a while down the road before it happens they they've already they have hired some engineering firms to do some studying as to what type of tolling they would do so uh but uh one other thing that he talked about too was the tip plan now that's a plan that where they go out and they they tell you in advance what's going to be done to all the state roads. One of the problems he has with that is that they'll tell you about this, and every time they tell you about it, and I was talking with the manager about it, they move it back five years. And he says from what they're going to do come the fall of the year, they're going to come up with a new TIP plan. And if they tell you something that's going to take place within, say, four or five years, they're, they're going to try to have it where it can and it will take place in that period of time. And a, a good example I mentioned to him on that was Premier Boulevard. We'd like to extend that from where it stops now, across the creek, and let it come out over there by Holiday Inn Express. The money has already been acquired through the state for the bridge, but there's got there's some property owners that have got to be dealt with as far as uh, buying some right-of-ways because they want to buy enough right-of-ways on each side of the road so they can put businesses on each side of it. So some right-of-ways have got to be acquired too. But uh, uh, widening 158 did not come up. We talked about it a little bit, but no nothing positive on that right now. But uh, I just make you aware of that, that, that meeting I attended today. Does any of the councilmen have any comments? Okay, we have no public comments. We have no other business. <coughs> At this time, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Thank you, gentlemen.